Welcome back. So it's been a while since I got a nice healthy group of photos sent to me from Taiwan of all places. So now my fourth or fifth purchase from the same seller. And this time around I actually got a good deal because it went to auction. Not Greenberg items. Um, none of these items are. But there's two photos that will stay as part of the PC. And actually one of the photos I got from the seller will stay in the PC. There's also another photo at the end, which I got from a different seller um, of Jewish autographs. But let's start with some 1930s Boston. You got Bagby, Kramer, Hugmon or something. I don't freaking know. Dickerman or Dickman. Yeah, those are like those interesting names. I think this is Mello. Yep, Sam Mello. And they also the same, next one is as well. But the one photo I wanted from the whole group was a nice Moberg and an absolutely beat up catcher's gear. Probably used in the bullpen. So, interesting little photo I was able to pick up for a very nominal price. I'm buying these basically assuming they're reprints and lots like this. So, nice Mo Berg add to the collection. Nice, clean, clear photo. And it looks like it's not the first, it's not type one, but it is an interesting photo and something to add to the binder and then next up we have Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn Charlie Sheen Auto not authenticated but I have bought stuff from this guy that has been authentic so for the price I paid it was a couple bucks I'm not gonna worry about it I might send it off may not We'll just have to wait and see. And then to finish up this quick video of photographs, you know, Chaim Herzog, for the Israeli political binder. So two signatures on here, one in Hebrew, one in English. Um, Again, this is another one of those where it went to auction and only got a couple bucks and I was, you know, offered the couple bucks. So happy to add this for very, very inexpensive. And so overall, obviously I'm going to keep this as well as the Berg and the PC and the rest of the photos I'll probably sell. This one I may get authenticated, I may not. I'll have to do some closer comparisons on the signature see if it's even worth it but very inexpensive we're talking the most I spent for anything including shipping I think it was ten dollars on a lot so really can't go wrong with that sometimes you just gotta look around find some inexpensive things that have the possibility of adding to your particular collection um, because a lot of times you will find something. It may not be exactly what you're looking for. But there's usually something to be found. And in this case, again, Berg, Herzog. Um, happy to add those for the prices that I did. Because it was pennies uh, in comparison to where these prices usually are. So, that's what I got for you this time around. Until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating, whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, 
the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.